Welcome to another Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. I am Benjamin and tonight we're going to travel the world looking at farm equipment as a theme and its appearance on banknotes from all over the place. This has been close to my mind as of late because I'm in the process of planting, weeding, and making my backyard and my garden looking good. And while my backyard is by no means big enough to use most, if any, of this farming equipment, it has me fondly remembering my childhood whenever I did live on a farm and saw more recent versions of most of these pieces of equipment, but this makes for a nice theme. Let's go ahead and get started with this uh, Chinese five-something. It looks like a 500, maybe a five. Let's see, five, and then that's um, a hundred, maybe? So maybe 500... You won, I'm guessing. Let's see. It might be, yeah, it looks like a 500 you won. And there, it looks like we have a disker, which is plowing and furrowing a field. Pretty nice note on the back of it. Yep, boom, there we go. A 1949 banknote. <laughs> From there, let's move to Iran. Iran's been in the news lately, and not for its gardening, that's for sure. Let's take a look and see what we have here that might be gardening related. I see a mosque and I see a flower emblem. Let's see what's on the back. Ah, here we go. A farm scene. There's your tractor there. Lots of shovels and hoes and farmers planting. Um, I just feel the temperature in this picture. It does not look cool and comfortable. So, um, I don't know. I can always respect farmers because they seem to be able to bring life out of some of the most inhospitable places. Moving on, back to... China and this is a 5,000 yen and it looks like it's from 1949 year so 1949 and here we go some more tractors plowing a field and then we have an industrial scene over here on the right but yep there you go this night has been this note has been well used and I'll be honest folks I enjoy bank notes that are just as much Use as they are um, nice. And I have a friend named Said Hakim Hamdani to thank for that, who always appreciates a good used note. This is from Lao, and it looks like we have a hundred uh, or a 500 kip from 1988. And here we have water, electricity, uh, pylons, and it looks like we have tractors plowing in fields. And over here, it looks like there's a harvest. They may be harvesting tea, maybe coffee. I don't really know. I'm going to have to figure that one out a little bit more. Maybe do a specific video. Let's move on to another Cambodian note of 20 reals. And this 20 real on the right-hand side shows some sort of, I would imagine, a combine harvester. Uh, not really... <laughs> <laughs> Not really sure. I've never really seen this iteration of a note, but I imagine that that's the farm equipment we're seeing there. And on this side, a lovely, lovely view of either a royal building or a Templar religious building. So we've been all over the world so far. Let's let's go to Europe next, and it looks like we're going to be looking at a Bulgarian tin leva. Or, you know, I mean, I loved, I can't read these notes that are in Cyrillic or anything, but I like to pronounce them based on the letters of the alphabet that they look like. And so this looks to me like it's probably uh, the bank of, of Bulgaria, but it looks like Babarapka Hapoha Baka. <laughs> one Esa Liba or one Esa Priba. So, I mean, yeah. It would be in my best interest to learn Cyrillic. But here we go. We have another gorgeous scene, and it looks to me like it's a harvester. There's uncut grain, and in the foreground it looks like it has been cut. I have seen tractors like these, specifically tractors called oil poles, that didn't have tires. They actually had pieces of metal, and they actually really gouged through the earth to roll through there. Those things were heavy pieces of equipment. And it, just in case you didn't realize it was Bulgaria, there's the symbol. And there's the man that you see on a lot of your Bulgarian notes. Love these notes. We're moving from there to Romania. And I have a Tin Lee 
from the Socialist Republic of Romania. Nothing much to see on this side of the note. But here we have a neat scene over here. And growing up in the panhandle of Oklahoma, I often saw scenes similar to these, but with much more recent equipment, where you would have five or six combines, and they would they would make um, hay um, and harvest fields like you couldn't believe super quickly. And they would just go down the road in, in um, convoys, and you would see dozens if not hundreds of these combines just driving down the country roads and they would start at one end of the harvest area and then end up at the other and hopefully it wasn't rainy whenever you were scheduled to have your crops harvested prior to that farmers used to have their own but unless you had a lot of money or were independently wealthy you could be spending a hundred thousand dollars on this piece of equipment and it might last you maybe 10 seasons so i don't know how cost effective that was but Ah, my childhood flying back to me. Let's move from there to Africa, and uh, we're looking at a specific note from Togo, which is one of the West African states. And on this side, we have a dam, so it is a dam note. And when you look at the back side, it is a farming scene, and it is a interesting farming scene. This vehicle looks like it's a sprayer, uh, like a crop sprayer of some sort. Um, I don't really know. I've never seen a vehicle like that, but I imagine when you are in a substance and economy, you would make do with whatever you have available. And I believe that there's a tank there and there's um, cording that suggests uh, fine hoses that might be used to spray crops. If somebody knows more, please share more because I don't like to give poor information. We're going to go from there to South America and we're going to look at this Guyana one dollar note. This Guyana one dollar note has a waterfall in the front and on the back of the note it has a dual scene. You have a push polder which has something to do with um, the aluminum industry and then over here you have rice harvesting. So the a combine as a matter of fact harvester and um, not, a gr not your normal grain field but that of rice. Pretty neat if you ask me. We're going to stay in South America for the next note. This is one of my favorite scenes on a bank note. You have a campesino or a farmer or a peasant farmer over here on this one peso boliviano. This may or may not be a replacement note with a Z. I don't really know. I'm going to have to look it up and find out. But I love these notes. So farmer on the front and on the back. Um, a mix match of technology as regarding farming. You have a team of oxen plowing a field and then you have a tractor pulled combine harvesting the crops and it looks to me like it's on a theme of reform agraria so agrarian reform the modernization of of farming kind of neat huh and you remember how i told you that note from romania brought back my childhood well this note from east germany does the same thing as well not because we had lots of people wearing weird hats you know, although uh, there's lots of German and Russians that have settled here in Oklahoma, we have, <laughs> we have the back of the note to um, thank for my, um, my feeling of um, nostalgia. Here you go, another entire row of combines. And this one, they're not spaced out to harvest. They've actually filled up and looks like they're getting ready to dump their um, grain hoppers into a truck which will haul the crop away. And I tell you what, I've been in the back of those trucks and I've played in the rainfall of wheat and I've gotten my shoes full of grains and, you know, stomped quickly to try to stay on top of it all and had the time of my life. Little kids, we would just grab handfuls of that wheat, throw it in our mouth and chew, chew, chew and have free gum. It wasn't great gum and um, it never lasted long. We spit it out as quickly as we could, but every season it seems like we tried to do it even more and more. So here we go, uh, Yugoslavia this time, a thousand um, dinara, at least I can read that. Uh, let's see, it looks like we have a thousand anhapa, <laughs> dinarhev tisak tisuka. And again, you know, I can't read Cyrillic, but I like to pretend that I can by fake pronouncing it. It cracks up my Russian friend who's from Mokba. That's an inside joke. If you want to know more, ask me about it in the comments. But here on the front of the note, we have another combine. And we have far, uh, harvest crops here, fruits and veggies. And then we have, who must be the ideal peasant woman? 
of Yugoslavia. Love this note. We're going to move from there to Banka Shkiptar, or um, Albania. And this is a specimen note, and to my disappointment, there must have been some moisture at some certain point because the specimen is smeared somewhat. This is a 25 note from 1976. It didn't cost me a great deal, and I'm sure I'll be able to easily replace it, should I choose to, uh, if it comes to that. But here we have the ideal of a peasant carrying wheat, and I've seen notes like this from... Korea, I've seen, or North Korea, and I've seen notes like this from Bulgaria, and I've seen notes like this from Russia, and I, I expect that this note is a example of Gosnak, and I'm sure some of those designs were actually created by the same person. But over here we have fruits of the land, and we have combines harvesting and offloading their um, harvested grain into shipping trucks. And here we have another scene on the back. This and it looks more like a tank. I have personally never seen a farm in, uh, a vehicle that looked like that, a tractor with, with tanks, with, uh, I guess, tank wheels like that. But it looks like they're pulling a disker. Or it's in front of somebody riding and guiding a disker so that they can create um, furrows in a field. Wow. Let's move from there to India. A man who knew how to dress cool in the weather. Uh, Mohandas Gandhi. Everybody thinks his name was Mahatma, but that was the title. His name was Mohandas. And if we turn it over, we can see a tractor pulling some plows or discs to create furrows in a field. Been there, done that. We're moving to China again. And this time we have a 10,000 yuan. And on the front of this 10,000 yuan from 1949, from year. So from 1949, we have a team of horse. And the farmers are following the, this horse as they're plowing up a field. And it looks like somebody's behind them maybe planting something as they plow it. But in the background, going another direction, you can see it looks like a team of horses again on another field. So you have... Teams in action in the background and in the foreground of this uh, farm note. Love this note. And love it even more because of the crappy condition it is in. And you know, as a farmer, I have to tell you, there's something to crap. It's pretty good fertilizer. If you guys, if you guys have goats, uh, sheep, or rabbits, you can even instantly fertilize with it. Here we go back to Africa. We have Tunisia. And here on this half dinar in the foreground, we have not a cow not a horse. We have a camel hooked up to a plow being used to furrow a field. Now that's just over here. If you look over here on this side of the note, you have modern combines harvesting, and you can see the attachment that they will use to offload the wheat that they've harvested into shipping trucks. And on this side, we have fruits of our labor. We have sheep, we have fruit, we have fish, and we have that lovely night scene with a partial moon shining on the water. I don't know. It's a very bucolic scene. Would that Tunisia was really that bucolic. We're going to go to Syria, which hasn't known bucolic for quite some time. But here we have a 50 pound, Syrian pound, 1973. My God, y'all, I was only a year old when this note was issued. And the farm scene on this side of the note is actually... A, a farmer sitting on a combine. This is a view you don't often see, a view from the upper right of the machine, and you're seeing the roller deal that lines up the grain heads and forces them against the blade that cuts the head, shatters the head, and then somewhere back here behind this man is the hopper that would contain the grain until they're ready to offload into a trunk. In the background, you can kind of see uh, another scene of a similar harvester. We're going to move from there to Ethiopia. This is a rather late date note, and I really like that uh, thread that we have there. But on this side of the note, we have what looks to me like a modern tractor. Rear view mirrors uh, in closed space, so it's probably air conditioned. And boy, if I was going to be working in a field nowadays, I'd want to be working <laughs> in air condition. Out in the panhandle, they actually do planting and harvesting sometimes at midnight because it's actually cool enough to work. I mean, it's crazy to me. But if you look here, this tractor is pulling something and I don't know if they're, um, if they planted and they're um, burying the, 
the, gra uh, the grain they planted or if they're harvesting. I don't really know what this is. It's a different kind of um, thing than I've seen. But on this side, it looks like industry. Maybe a gas processing or, or maybe a coal plant. I don't know. It looks to me like it could even be... I don't know. I mean, we have this conveyor belt. Maybe it is a grain holding situation. I don't know, y'all. I'm getting old. And part of me sometimes asks myself, do I really care? But I do love these things. And I do love how they are a holler back to my own childhood. We're going to stay in Ethiopia for this note and look at a hundred, or I'm sorry, a ten um, burr. We have a young lady weaving. And on this side we have a tractor, not as nice looking as that other tractor. And this looks like it has disc and it's really, really chopping up and, and disturbing the soil. So it looks like they are doing some soil prep, maybe plowing under. Um the remnants of the previous crop because I know they did that in the panhandle to sometimes self-fertilize the soil. I'm not seeing any harvest mechanisms and it doesn't look like there's really furrows uh, to pre-plant so it looks to me like these crop rows are awful low so I think they've been harvested and this is just plowing under, plowing the field under. Well what do you think guys? I, I wonder if most of my fans have been um, uh, farmers or have any experience seeing these. I know as a child I loved it even whenever I moved into town driving through the country and seeing the farmers you know some of the best of a nation out there working hard to feed the people not of just this country but that around the world. These are people that need to be honored and this is equipment that we need to uh, be aware of because Lord knows if the world remains as crazy as it has been lately, we may be in situations where we're eating out of our backyards far more. I'm Benjamin. This is Numismatic Notes with Benjamin. If you have something to cuss or discuss, please like and subscribe and comment. Please share. And if you want me to send this to any other website, just let me know in a note, and I'll be happy to forward my uh, videos to uh, wherever you guys would like me to upload them. But also, feel free to share them yourself. Like and subscribe, people. I want to hit 2,000. I'll settle for 1,200 right now, though. Have a jewel of a day.